fighting Usyk again. Yeah. Oh, man. That's a tough fight. It's rare that someone with that kind of technique gets into the heavyweight division. Mm-hmm. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Quick Rundowns, where we bring you the latest and greatest in combat sports news. If you're a fan of the fight game, you're in the right place, so hit that like button, and let's dive right in. All right, big news today. Oleksandr Usyk is stepping into the ring again with Tyson Fury. If you watch the Usyk fight, he was touching Usyk up in the beginning of the fight. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that reach and that jab, the accuracy that he has, technique and huge. And the heavyweights were never really that good. Oh, man, this is going to be a monster fight. Usyk versus Fury 2. It's a tough one for both fighters, no doubt. Usyk's got that technical mastery, that lightning fast footwork, and a reach that can really cause problems for anyone in the heavyweight division. When you get up to the heavyweight division, guys tend, it tends to be like a lower bar. He was doing really well in that fight until he started to slow down a little bit, and Usyk wound up just catching him. If you watched their first fight, you saw Usyk give Fury a serious run for his money in the early rounds. He was touching him up, landing those jabs, and making Fury look a bit uncomfortable. It was a real show of technique from Usyk. But, you know, as we know, Fury is a guy who knows how to weather a storm. But but here's the thing. Fury's reach and jab are on another level. And while Usyk was looking sharp at the start, we saw him start to slow down a little bit towards the middle rounds. Fury's gas tank is just on another level, and and that's where the fight started to turn in his favor. It wasn't just about power, it was about persistence and being able to, to go the distance. I heard Joe Rogan say something about me over there, and I've been off all the social media, so I didn't reply to that little bull****, little f- midget, bald headed midget. It's a little midget too, sir. He's so talented. He's so small for a heavyweight too. Mm. Now, let's talk about uh, Joe Rogan's uh, take on all this. He's uh, He's been um, pretty active lately, um, even throwing a bit of shade at, you know, some fighters. Um, he, he, he's talking about how Fury's got this crazy talent and, you know, how his size is just ridiculous for a, for a heavyweight. Um, at 6'9", Fury is a giant, and it's almost comical how he calls people out. He just, he's nonstop movement and his footwork and everything. It's so different than anybody else. But the irony, man, is just too real because Fury's got the bald head, right? So when he calls out Usyk, who's got the same look going on, it's almost like the two of them are just eggs in the ring, ready to crack. And let's not forget, Usyk is not your typical heavyweight either. He's got that speed, technique, and constant movement. His footwork is way different from any other heavyweight, and that's exactly why he has the edge in so many ways. But at the same time, Tyson Fury's just a monster when it comes to toughness. He towers over pretty much anyone, and that size advantage is hard to ignore. So, what's going to happen in this fight? Who's going to crack first? The technical wizard in Usyk, or the giant with the insane cardio and mind games in Fury? We'll have to wait and see, but one thing's for sure, this fight is going to be an absolute spectacle. Hit the like button if you're Team Bald. We're showing love to the eggheads in the ring, and let me know what you think in the comments. Who takes the win, Fury or Usyk? That's it for today's rundown on Quick Rundowns, your go-to place for all things combat sports. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Catch you in the next one. Peace.